Chester, September the 11th, 1777, 12 o'clock at night. Sir, I am sorry to inform you that in this day's engagement, we have been obliged to leave the enemy masters of the field. Unfortunately, the intelligence received of the enemy's advancing up the Brandywine and crossing at a ford about six miles above us was uncertain and contradictory, notwithstanding all my pains to get the best. This prevented my making a disposition adequate to the force with which the enemy attacked us on our right, in consequence of which the troops were first engaged were obliged to retire before they could be reinforced. In the midst of the attack on the right, that body of the enemy, which remained on the other side of Chad's Ford, crossed it and attacked the division there under the command of General Wayne and the light troops under General Maxwell, who, after a severe conflict, also retired. The militia, under the command of General Armstrong, being posted at a ford about two miles below Chad's, had no opportunity of engaging. But though we fought under many disadvantages and were, from the causes above mentioned, obliged to retire, yet our loss of men is not, I am persuaded, very considerable, I believe much less than the enemy's. We have also lost seven or eight pieces of cannon, according to best information I can at present obtain. The baggage having been previously moved off is all secure, saving the men's blankets, which being at their backs, Many of them, doubtless, are lost. I have directed all the troops to assemble behind Chester, where they are now arranging for this night. Notwithstanding the misfortune of the day, I am happy to find the troops in good spirits. I hope another time we shall compensate for the losses now sustained. The Marquis de Lafayette was wounded in the leg, and General Woodford in the hand. Divers other officers were wounded, some slain, but the numbers of either cannot be ascertained. I have the honor to be, sir, your obedient and humble servant, G. Washington. P.S. It has not been in my power to send you earlier intelligence, the present being the first leisure moment I have had since the action.